entertainer Boris, beter bekend als Boris B. Oftewel een ontzettend goede FVV-piloot. We gaan vandaag ProSide testen. Heb je er zin in? Ik ben zeer benieuwd. Ik heb het wel eens een keer eerder getest in Frankrijk bij een, uh, bij een event. Uh, alleen dat systeem was kapot doordat hele vele piloten aan het testen waren. En die waren steeds aan het crashen. En toen ik het ging testen was de antenne afgebroken. Dus mijn eerste ervaring was niet zo geweldig. Maar uh, dat is natuurlijk begrijpelijk met het systeem zonder antenne. En uh, ik ben zeer benieuwd met het uh, nieuwe verbeterde systeem wat, uh, ja, wat het nu gaat bieden. Ja, nou, we hebben nu een complete setup voor je klaarstaan. Met uh, nou ja, nieuw systeem en ook geen kapotte antenne. Dus dat moet helemaal goed komen. Ik uh, ben heel benieuwd wat je ervan gaat vinden. Uh, de gasten van Amimon die zijn hem uh, aan het klaarzetten voor je. Dus ik ben heel benieuwd naar je reactie zo meteen. Het is een uitdagend parcours. Dus uh, als het dit kan doorstaan. Dan, uh, dan is het in principe goed gekeurd. Kijk, uh, de gates zijn vrij laag. Ze zijn uh, heel mooi opgesteld. Uh, nou ja, een, een goed, uh, goed racing, uh, een, een goed low latency racing uh, systeem moet hier gewoon, uh, is hier uh, benoodzaakt. Welcome to Open TX. So how do you arm? You can try. So I, I'm already able to fly? Yeah. Okay, that's a good conversation. I do see ground details much better than usually. I see the uh, the gates. I can I can look much further because more because there's more detail. I can predict my next step better. So for example, when I'm at gate one, I can already see the gate three. So I can get a better lineup for my next you know for my next move i can see the branches that's good okay that makes the track actually even wider I... did you feel any problem with the antenna or is it uh, no. okay for you there's no i didn't have a single single glitch or distortion during the entire session over this track behind the trees in front of trees through the gates totally nothing actually well, at least not noticeable. No lines like you see on the analog systems. You see these uh, disruptions in your signal. That's not noticeable at all. By the way, the lenses. Lens is not bad, actually. The v field of view is good. So I see a red blinking. Uh... Yeah, so there is a battery meter. Oh, I'm just on time. Because <laughs> I, I was already losing power. Good. I'm already getting used to it, so I think I can push it further next round to really test the latency. But it feels good. I don't know how much time you have. This time you used the H -Q. HQ. Yeah. Do you want to try the HP? Yeah, I would like to. Your this choice. Was, HQ was the 60 or no. 30. 30. <laughs> okay. So that. Ik heb zojuist met 30 frames per second gevlogen. Um, 30 frames per seconde betekent is in principe wel prima, maar bij hele snelle bewegingen heb je de kans dat uh, dingen kunnen vervagen. Wat ze nu gaan doen, is ze gaan hem op 60 frames per second zetten. En juist voor racing, voor, uh, ja, voor veel actie, laag bij de grond, zou je daarmee eventueel meer uh, performance kunnen gainen. Dus waarschijnlijk meer minder vervaging in het beeld, dus veel meer ja, crispy beeld om zo maar te zeggen. Daar ben ik zeer benieuwd naar. De performance mode has slightly less delay but it's almost unnoticeable no yeah it's 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 not that noticeable no no, no true um it's it's a, it's again yeah a little bit more yeah how do you call it um uh, a little bit more fluid image you know where you when you when you have very fast movements like for example quick quick flips or rolls that's where the camera you know gets a bit more jittery when it's more f low uh, low frame rate because when i do a quick roll I would lose details during the fast motion. That's right. And then that's the performance, typically yeah, in the that's, that's the only thing I noticed actually. But during the racing, because during the racing, the camera is more stable, it's more smooth. You're not doing flips and rolls. Well, anyway, you don't, you don't have to see a lot during flips or rolls. It's not that you're looking for details during flips or rolls, but that's the, those are the parts where you do see a little bit, like, yeah, slight ghosting, you could say, with 30 yeah. FPS, yeah. Okay. It's nice. Typical thing was b when I go far away to that gate mm -hmm. and I have to come back below the trees. I'm able to look below the trees at the gate which is 
maybe 100 meter further so I can focus on that line. I think with the analog, you would have to, you wouldn't be pos it wouldn't be possible to see the gate, uh, to see through the gate. You would probably see the gate, like a little red color popping up somewhere. But with the HD, you, you're able to see through the gates. You can see your line, next line. You can predict more your next, your move, next movement better. Because as you as you saw, I was not I was not feeling any, yeah, I, I was not I was enjoying actually. There was nothing bothering me during this session. I, I, I was simply able to complete the track without any problem, without hitting the gate because the gates are quite low. Um, typically, when you have uh, high latency and you fly too low to the ground, um, you would crash. You know, due to latency, you get uh, more disconnected from your throttle control. And that's not something I noticed. So I was trying to fly very low and still able to correct every tiny throttle movement. So, so Boris, you've been able to try Connex Pro side today. What's your first impression? First impression is actually above my expectations. Definitely uh, didn't expect to have that good quality. I was expecting because it's HD, there's more more bandwidth, more transmission, and probably more dis distortion uh, about, you know, behind the objects, behind the trees. and. Totally above my expectation, that was much, much better than the typical analog systems uh, used now. There was actually none of the, uh, yeah, no static, no uh, disruption of my image. Uh, it was completely smooth behind the objects and everything. The downside of the uh, big resolution was that it's using 30 frames per second, which is great in maybe 90% of the cases. But there are certain scenarios where, um, with fast motion, uh, quick rolls, flips, movements, you would see a little bit more ghosting in the image because of the 30 frames per second. But uh, lucky uh, about this, lucky thing about the system that it has two modes. There's a performance mode and the H HQ mode. HQ mode, high quality, maximum resolution, maximum detail, but 30 frames per second. And there's this. Uh, um, performance mode where you get slightly less uh, resolution uh, but much much smoother image actually typical same image as you see with the analog signals uh, 60 frames per second I believe and that's actually the good good thing about the system that it has the best of the two worlds cool so I think we can suggest that the test was successful yes definitely yeah my colleagues Yuri and Navad from Amimon are here Yuri what are we doing here today so we are here to see the the ProSight, the Connex ProSight is the new HD for FPV uh, unit for transmission. So what we have here actually is the receiver and the smaller unit that is going on the drone itself, that, that's small nicing. And that small nicing is able to do HD, real HD with uh, latency free going from your FPV down to your eyes, to your goggles. And what's the advantage of an analog system and the ProSight system then? Well, I think it's it's quite natural advantage. It's it's the it's the new era for uh, FPV. It's like when moving back from the analog old TV, if you remember even that, going back to where we are today, meaning going to HD video, that you see all the details when you're flying around, when you're going next to a branch in a tree, you can actually avoid it and continue flying. Okay, cool. And Avad, you're more the technical guy, as I understand. Yes. I think. So much I think it must have been a challenge to create something like this. Uh, yes, uh, but we have a long-standing history with uh, a low delay broadcast. Uh, Amimon has a history of uh, products uh, that was used up until now in movie industry uh, to create zero delay or no delay uh, transmission for. Uh, Hollywood for videos that are being made uh, in Hollywood and we took the technology, the core technology from there and we modified it to create uh, something that is a new rev uh, era in the FPV, something that can uh, not only allow you to see everywhere, see the HD feeds, but um, to get the clear video in any situation, uh, if it's in-house, in outdoor, the digital video is a, a stable a solution that allows you much more flexibility in where you fly. Okay, cool. And we are going to test some samples today because it's not available yet. When will it be available, Yuri? Well, first it is avail available for pre-order, so you're welcome to go to Droneland website and pre-order it. But samples are going, or 
products are going to be shipped in mid-July to customers that already pre-order it. If you want more information or you want to pre-order your unit, you can go to our store or to droneland.nl.